welcome to my channel my name is Nina and I'm so happy you decided to click on my video and as the thumbnail and description promised I'm going to show you how I have decorated my small house here in Norway for winter uh, I have a lot of Christmas decor at Christmas so when winter comes I try to kind of scale it down and this year I have tried to go a bit more minimalistic it's not minimalistic but is that the English word? I hope so uh, but I have focused on uh, faux flowers and just doing simple pretty classic decor so I hope you get inspired uh, I will chit chat a bit more because I've been missing in action for a long time it's not uh, it was not intentional and it has not been anything dramatic but I thought I would chit chat a bit with you after I shown you my house tour and uh, a heads up I'm not the best house tour filmer in the world <laughs> but I hope you enjoy okay guys I'll talk to you when the tour is done okay so I'll start us off as I usually do in my hallway and as you can see not much has changed here except from me taking out all the Christmas decor this is a room I would like to do a lot to uh, not right now when we're in lockdown but I think I will try to do something with this I would like although it's beautiful I would like to take this big chest out because it's taking so much room currently it's uh, storage for our motor bike uh, clothes uh, yeah but yeah and walking on into our master bedroom uh, here also I have just taken out the winter the Christmas decor and put some nice white flowers with the trying not to make it easy <laughs> these big white roses and kept the greenery I had red roses here before so this is pretty much our everyday decor but with a bit more white and I have not done much to the tray again just put the white rose and taken out the reds and this is our wintry master bedroom and whoops uh, our bathroom tiny bathroom uh, also not done a lot just whoops taking away all the reds and uh, again used some white flowers I love these apothecary jars with things inside and this time it's these uh, white roses and I have some white lilacs with uh, some greenery so that's all I've done in here and then to our dining room and as you can see there has been a big change the pergola is uh, or the big tree is gone and our and of course filming against the windows is hard but I'll also film this in the evening uh, I put up our chandeliers again and this is our winter tablescape 
done it very simple uh, just this little uh, laced uh, it's not a charger table yeah kind of a charger and then the wick charger over that and our uh, white plates and balls and I have uh, have this linen napkins with this uh, natural looking napkin rings and inside the balls uh, reindeer head it doesn't come across on camera but it's of course it has some glitter on it <laughs> Uh, and my lovely small bubbly vases that I love it's Finchel it's a Norwegian uh, florist uh, has designed those love them a chandelier and some candles and I bought some new pillows for the sofa I don't know what I think about the white and brown ones. My daughter liked them. I I didn't have much to choose from, so this was what I found. But um, yeah, it works. So that's our tablescape. And I have done it again very simple in the windows with a very small bouquet and i have nothing on my tea tree tree tiered trays uh, just keeping it very very light and simple and i have done the same in this window and here I have done a faux flower uh, bouquet in a vase and this is sandalwood uh, candle burning I have just discovered recently discovered sandalwood and I love it I don't know why I haven't tried that before but it smell, smells so clean and nice. <laughs> I think she, she has a tickle in her nose. She's making strange noises. <laughs> okay. And I always get a lot of questions about this big uh, candle holder or candle this uh, oh, candelabra and this is actually one of these I had a chandelier like that and it broke so I took off all the crystals and put it on this uh, candelabra and I think it turned out beautiful so if you find a, or have an old broken candelabra that is a tip or yeah idea and our heater has uh, broken so we are currently uh, using our uh, fireplace uh, so I bought a new basket to have the wood in this is actually plastic but it looks pretty real and on the mantle again I have done it so simple just three of these fin shell vases with one flower in each and a reindeer and if you have followed me for a while you know that we had a leak in the chimney and so our fireplace this mark is from that and up here so all this have to be painted but I have to wait it's so cold here now 
but that's the fireplace very simple and the dogs love to hang out as you can see <laughs> love staying out in front of the fire uh, oops yeah we can do the kitchen first again this is a very working kitchen so it's not uh, a very stylish but cozy i have kept my hot chocolate station just uh, taking out all the all the christmas bits and uh, done it like this this kitchen is so messy even though it's tidy because <laughs> it's so small and i have so much stuff uh, but yeah again the flowers and yeah and i love this little nook here where we can eat breakfast or at least one of us uh, and this uh, bouquet of pink uh, peachy uh, is it called carnations i think oh, love them so that's our kitchen and walking back through the dining room and into the living room i have kept the same style as in the in the dining room and if we start off here again with the flowers just an jane austen book <laughs> it's not it's not uh a book box it's an actual book and with this it's uh, from a Norwegian artist ceramic artist uh, called Viklund it's actually a cat but it's look it looks so much like our uh, fur baby Urian so I just had to have that and I've taken out my <coughs> sorry uh, small houses candle holding houses that just fill them with a string of lights and i kind of tidied up this <coughs> corner as i'm sorry i can't wait to get rid of these shelves uh, if you are new we are going to be doing a lot of work to this house it just takes a lot of time <laughs> i had some uh, horns hanging here or antlers those I've taken out and replaced them with this wreath uh, and again in the windows done it really simple just a candle holder a couple of candle holders and this horse head uh, and if you love my my uh, oh, what it's called driftwood and palette heart you will find a video on how to do that i'm still loving it still keeping it up and done the same in this window and in my kind of frozen you remember from christmas my kind of frozen corner i've kept uh this Deers and the candle holder is part of my everyday decor. Just done a, a flower bouquet here. And the frozen branch is still up, but I've taken off the, the birds and things that reminds me of Christmas. Kept the wreath on the ladder. And this is the same as it was for Christmas. But I think it looks wintry, so yeah. And on my coffee table and this 
uh, I want to show you. These vases are new and they are from H&M Home. Very affordable, love them. And I've splurged a bit on the flowers and done what I think at least is a couple of beautiful bouquets and with the uh, this uh, electric battery operated candles and I have actually uh, to the chest this is called a chest we call it a chest table I have and it actually comes better across on the camera than in real life but I have treated it with white oil to get it a bit lighter uh, it didn't work very well but it's yeah I can see now that it's at least one shade lighter kept the same pillows as I had for Christmas with this green and this uh, wintry uh, motif and on my secretary I've also done it really simple uh, just this silver candelabra and uh, yeah so ooh, this is my and I bought this another of these baskets and filled it with some blankets and pillows I love that. So that is my ooh, living room from this angle. I'm sorry guys, I'm I'm so bad at filming house tours, but I just wanted to give you a kind of a yeah look. I hope you liked the tour and I hope you got some ideas or inspiration from uh, the video. Uh, I'm at the stage right now where I'm kind of second guessing myself when, it's, when it comes to my decor and my house and <laughs> I'm sure you all can relate from time to time. Uh, it's easy to kind of fall into this self-doubt so I've had to remind myself that I do this because I love connecting with you guys. I love making videos. I love having a creating, creative outlet. And sometimes my work will be okay or not okay, even bad. And sometimes it will be great and that's okay. I have to give myself a bit of a slack when it comes to this. So. I have enjoyed making the videos and of course I my house now is getting to a point where it's kind of old and and uh, battered in a way uh, and it needs a lot of TLC but as many of you know or you who have followed us for a while we have a lot to do so uh, we're going to do one thing at a time so uh, there's a lot of things I want to do, but as I said in my last video, I want this next year to be kind of an uh, organizing year, a year where we can get uh, our ducks in a row in a way, uh, tidy up and get organized and uh, good routines and systems. Um, and therefore I want also my decor to be a bit uh, simpler or yeah uh, a bit more um, a bit less uh, over the top <laughs> so uh, I hope you enjoyed it one of you uh, called my my uh, former style or my kind of what I've called my theatric 
uh, decor for my kind of snow white personality and what I wanted now was more of a Audrey Hepburn and I love that description. I love them both uh, and if my decor is anything like Snow White or Audrey Hepburn, yay! <laughs> so I, I love that description. As many of you know, I have been missing, missing in action for about two or three weeks, I think. Uh, I never intended it to be that long. I didn't intend, intend to have a break at all, but uh, you have heard me ranting and raving. I think that's the saying about our very bad internet connection. And guess what? We have fiber. Uh, I don't know what's, what it's called in English, but we have now a fiber cable for our internet. So it's about a hundred or between a hundred and two hundred times quicker than it was. Um, and uh, before they changed uh, the cable, it was so slow that I, I just gave up. I couldn't uh, answer comments or, and I have a hard time working on my phone. I have to work on my computer. So that's the whole uh, story. Uh, and at the same time, we have had, when we uh, went into, 2021 I was not kind of thinking oh my god finally we're done with 2020 and this is a new year and thing is going, things are going to be great I knew uh, the virus was still here we were kind of in an uphill battle and now we have the UK muted mutated virus uh, nearby so we are all in lockdown so it has been difficult to buy anything and yeah and i'm not sure how long we are going to stay like this but i'm just going to kind of keep on doing what i'm doing uh, i have no big plans for valentine's uh, i have plans for easter i will keep up with my kind of simple decor but i have a diy i'm going to do that i hope you like and uh, for Valentine's, I'm I also going to do, I think, something quite simple. Uh, but again, that I hope you like. Uh, yeah. If you're not subscribed, I hope you will subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified when I upload my new video. Um, I love when you leave comments. Uh, I have been able to answer some, but it's taken so long uh, because of my internet connection. But now I'm going to do my best to catch up with all your lovely comments. And please guys keep on uh, leaving comments. I love when we can connect. Uh, I would love to hear what you have done for your winter decor and how you are doing in your countries. So. Until next time, have a fabulous rest of the week and weekend, and I hope I see you again soon. Bye, guys!